Chapter 6 The Unbelief in Nazareth Matthew 13, 53-58 Mark 6, verse 1, KJV And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his disciples follow him. His own country, Nazareth. Mark 6, verses 2-3 to KJV, And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence hath this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Hoses, and of Judah, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. The son of Mary, this title does not mean that Joseph has died already because Matthew's gospel calls Jesus the carpenter's son as if the carpenter were still alive at that time. Matthew 13 verse 55 KJV Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brethren, James, and Hoses, and Simon, and Judas? The brother of Jesus had four half-brothers, and at least two half-sisters. There is no evidence to prove that they were Joseph's children from a previous marriage. This is why many say that Joseph was much older than Mary, so as to conform to their church's teaching that Mary had only one child, and that she remained a virgin unto her death. James, he would eventually become the pastor of the Jerusalem church. Acts 15 verses 13 to 21 KJV And after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me, Simeon hath declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles, to take out of them a people for his name. And to this agree the words of the prophets, as it is written, After this I will return, and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down, and I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up that the residue of men might seek after the Lord, and all the Gentiles, upon whom my name is called, saith the Lord, who doeth all these things. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Wherefore my sentence is, that we trouble not them, which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, but that we write unto them, that they abstain from pollutions of idols, and from fornication, and from things strangled, and from blood. For Moses of old time hath in every city them that preach him, being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. He was not a believer until after Jesus rose from the dead. John 7 verse 5 KJV For neither did his brethren believe in him. Judah, this is Jude, the author of the book of Jude. Mark 6 verses 4 to 6 KJV but Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk, and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went round about the villages, teaching. In his own country, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, but he spent 27 years in Nazareth before using Capernaum as his adopted hometown near the Sea of Galilee. Some in the north who knew him growing up had a hard time believing that he was the Messiah. So, he did more teaching than healing in that area because of their lack of faith in him. In his own house, his own half-brothers and half-sisters did not believe he was the Messiah at that time. The word faith is found only two times in the whole Old Testament, and one of them is not all that positive towards Israel. Deuteronomy 32 verse 20 And he said, I will hide my face from them, I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. The word faith however is found 229 times in the New Testament, and it is found 150 times in the book of Acts from chapter 9 through 28 and the Pauline epistles. It is in all 13 of Paul's epistles. Sending the 12 2 by 2 Matthew 10 colon 1 dash 15 and 9 colon 1 dash 6. Mark 6 verse 7, KJV, And he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits, the twelve, the twelve apostles, and gave them power over unclean spirits. No other believers had this power, only the twelve. 
Mark 6 verses 8 to 9, KJV, and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, no scrip, no bread, no money in their purse, but be shod with sandals, and not put on two coats. Take nothing for their journey, there is no mission agency operating under this commission today, because they cannot. It does not work today. With the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom, they were to sell all that they had and to have all things common, which is what those that were following Jesus daily were doing. This is easily seen in the early part of the book of Acts. Mark 6 verses 10 to 11, KJV, And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment, than for that city. Shake off the dust under your feet, this is the same as the custom of washing of one's hands declaring you were free of any guilt regarding a person you have warned. Many of these commands during this early commission will be rescinded when Jesus gives the apostles a newer commission just before his crucifixion. Luke 22 verses 35 to 36 KJV And he said unto them, When I sent you without purse, and scrip, and shoes, lack ye anything? And they said, Nothing. Then said he unto them, But now, he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his scrip, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment, and buy one. The Great Commission would have even more changes associated with it after his resurrection. Mark 6 verses 12 to 13, KJV, And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils, and anointed with oil many that were sick, and healed them. John 9 verse 6 KJV When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground, and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. They went out, they did not ask them to come to their large buildings to be healed. These gifts are not for today's present dispensation which began after Israel's rejection of her kingdom. Anointed with oil, anointing someone was to sanctify them for a purpose. A king or a priest was sanctified before they would begin their service. The oil itself had no healing powers, but it was a part of Israel's program. James 5 verses 13 to 14 lines up perfectly with this verse. James 5 verses 13 to 14 KJV Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. James is written to the twelve tribes scattered abroad, not to the body of Christ. James 1 verse 1 Paul never anointed anyone with oil in his epistles, Romans through Philemon. The word oil is never even mentioned in his epistles, and the word anointed is used only once, and it is in reference to God giving us the Holy Spirit at the moment we are saved. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 21 to 22 Now he which establisheth us with you in Christ, and hath anointed us, is God, who hath also sealed us, and given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. John is beheaded Matthew 14 colon 1 dash 12 and Luke 9 colon 7 dash 9. Mark 6 verses 14 to 29, KJV, And King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad, and he said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do shew forth themselves in him. Others said that it is Elias. And others said that it is a prophet, or as one of the prophets. But when Herod heard thereof, he said, It is John, whom I beheaded, he is risen from the dead. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John, and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. For John had said unto Herod, It is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him, and would have killed him, but she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and an holy, and observed him, and when he heard him, he did many things, and heard him gladly. 
And when a convenient day was come, that Herod on his birthday made a supper to his lords, high captains, and chief estates of Galilee. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in, and danced, and pleased Herod and them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. And he sware unto her, Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it thee, unto the half of my kingdom. And she went forth, and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king, and asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and by in a charger the head of John the Baptist. And the king was exceeding sorry, yet for his oath's sake, and for their sakes which sat with him, he would not reject her. And immediately the king sent an executioner and commanded his head to be brought, and he went and beheaded him in the prison, and brought his head in a charger, and gave it to the damsel, and the damsel gave it to her mother. And when his disciples heard of it, they came and took up his corpse, and laid it in a tomb. A just man, John is one of three men called just in the scriptures, the others are Jesus, and Joseph his adopted father. John died by the hands of those that hated God's word as will Elijah in the tribulation period. Elijah will be raised from the dead at that time and John will also be raised when all of Israel is raised at the onset of the kingdom that he preached. The Apostles Return Luke 9 colon 10 11 Mark 6 verses 30 to 32 KJV And the Apostles gathered themselves together unto Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done, and what they had taught. And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place, and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And they departed into a desert place by ship privately. Feeding the 5,000 Matthew 14, 13-21, Luke 9, 12-17, and John 6, 1-15. Mark 6 verses 33 to 34, KJV, And the people saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran afoot thither out of all cities, and out went them, and came together unto him. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people, and was moved with compassion toward them, because they were as sheep not having a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. A foot thither, on foot towards. They were as sheep not having a shepherd, their rabbis and Pharisees were not the shepherds that the people needed as they taught the traditions of the elders, and not the commandments of God. Mark 6 verses 35 to 43, KJV, And when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him, and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. Send them away, that they may go into the country round about, and into the villages, and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. He answered and said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred penny worth of bread, and give them to eat? He saith unto them, How many loaves have ye? Go and see. And when they knew, they say, Five, and two fishes. And he commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass. And they sat down in ranks, by hundreds, and by fifties. And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fishes, he looked up to heaven, and blessed, and brake the loaves, and gave them to his disciples to set before them, and the two fishes divided he among them all. And they did all eat, and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of the fragments, and of the fishes. By hundreds, and by fifties, the numbers hundreds and fifties are only mentioned together four times in the Bible, and three of them were while they were in the wilderness with Moses in Exodus 18 verses 21 to 25 KJV, Moreover thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them, to be rulers of thousands, and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens, and let them judge the people at all seasons, and it shall be, that every great matter they shall bring unto thee, but every small matter they shall judge, so shall it be easier for thyself, and they shall bear the burden with thee. If thou shalt do this thing, and God command thee so, then thou shalt be able to endure, and all this people shall also go to their place in peace. So Moses hearkened to the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he had said. 
And Moses chose able men out of all Israel and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And Deuteronomy 1 verse 15 KJV, So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men, and known, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, and captains over hundreds, and captains over fifties, and captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. They are symbolic of governmental structure in Israel then, and in their future kingdom. This place is referred to as a desert place in verse 32. If one could chase a thousand, then one loaf would be able to feed one thousand. Joshua 23 verse 10 KJV, One man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God, he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. Five loaves would be able to feed five thousand men. Even in a deserted place God could take care of them. Jesus is the bread which came down from heaven in the wilderness, the manna, he fed these in as miraculous a fashion as those in the wilderness. They did not have to wake up and go collect this bread, the apostles just served them this bread that miraculously appeared after Jesus had prayed. Each apostle carried back one basket full of bread after Jesus had fed the multitude. One for each tribe. They will eventually sit on twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Matthew 19 verse 28 KJV And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And they took up twelve baskets full of the fragments and of the fishes. This is a message for those that will go through the tribulation period that God will also provide food for them when they flee into the wilderness for its last three and a half years. Jesus walks on water Matthew 14 colon 22 dash 33 and John 6 colon 16 dash 21. Mark 6 verse 45 KJV, and straightway he constrained his disciples to get into the ship, and to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida, while he sent away the people. Bethsaida, the name means the house of fishing. It is located in the northeast corner of the Sea of Galilee, the hometown of Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Mark 6 verse 46, KJV, and when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. He first sent them away, and then he departed to pray for them in his absence, as he will be doing during the tribulation period. They were sent to the house of fishing. Jesus said earlier that from henceforth they shall catch men. Many Jews will respond to the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom during the tribulation period because of the terrible times they will be facing. Mark 6 verse 47, KJV, And when even was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he alone on the land. When the even was come, the tribulation period is called the night. Mark 6 verse 48, KJV, And he saw them toiling and rowing, for the wind was contrary unto them, and about the fourth watch of the night, he cometh unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed by them. The fourth watch of the night, between 3 and 6 a.m. It is always darkest just before dawn. The night was divided up into four watches. Luke 12 verse 38 KJV And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. The best fishing is in the night when the fish come up to the warmer water near the top so nets can catch them and would have passed by them, he was walking faster than the boat was moving. Mark 6 verses 49 to 50, KJV, But when they saw him walking upon the sea, they supposed it had been a spirit, and cried out, for they all saw him, and were troubled. And immediately he talked with them, and saith unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. They supposed it had been a spirit, angels, both good and bad, are called spirits. Even when the eleven saw Christ after his resurrection, they thought they saw a spirit and were afraid. Luke 24 verses 36 to 37 KJV. And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted and supposed that they had seen a spirit. 
Mark 6 verses 51 to 52, KJV, And he went up unto them into the ship, and the wind ceased, and they were sore amazed in themselves beyond measure, and wondered. For they considered not the miracle of the loaves, for their heart was hardened. Their hearts were hardened, and yet they had seen so much. Faith does not come by seeing miracles, it comes by hearing the word of God. The Jew required a sign, and God was giving them more signs than they could handle, but they had become commonplace to them now, and it hardened their hearts to them. The Land of Genesaret Matthew 14 colon 34 dash 36 Mark 6 verses 53 to 56 KJV And when they had passed over, they came into the land of Genesaret and drew to the shore. And when they were come out of the ship, straightway they knew him, and ran through that whole region round about, and began to carry about in beds those that were sick, where they heard he was. And whithersoever he entered, into villages, or cities, or country, they laid the sick in the streets, and besought him that they might touch if it were but the border of his garment, and as many as touched him were made whole. Malachi 4 verse 2 But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness. Arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. The Hebrew word for wings means the extremities, or borders which would also cover the extremities of his garments. Remember the woman with the issue of blood who said she would be healed if she could just touch his garment? The word had spread apparently. Chapter 7 Pharisees and Scribes Question Jesus Matthew 15 1-20 Mark 7 verses 1 to 7, KJV, Then came together unto him the Pharisees, and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say, with unwashen, hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees, and all the Jews, except they wash their hands oft, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not, and many other things there be, which they have received to hold, as the washing of cups, and pots, brass and vessels, and of tables. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashen hands? He answered and said unto them, While well, hath Esaias prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Isaiah 29 verse 13 KJV Wherefore the Lord said, Forasmuch as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Mark 7 verses 8 to 9 KJV For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. The washing of pots and cups, these were not the same divers washings mentioned in Hebrews 9 verse 10, because they are the ones that are spoken of in the law of Moses. These are simply the traditions of the elders that were added to the word of God by religious zealots. Mark 7 verse 10, KJV, For Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and, Whoso curseth father or mother, let him die the death, Exodus 21 verse 17 KJV, And he that curseth his father, or his mother, shall surely be put to death. Mark 7 verses 11 to 16, KJV, But ye say, If a man shall say to his father or mother, It is korban, that is to say, a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. And ye suffer him no more to do aught for his father or his mother, making the word of God of none effect through your tradition, which ye have delivered, and many such like things do ye. And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me every one of you, and understand, there is nothing from without a man, that entering into him can defile him, but the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. The wicked heart produces the words that come out of the mouth, and they are what defile a person, not eating bread with unwashed hands. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. 
This is now the third time Jesus uses this saying in the book of Mark to make something stick in the minds of his disciples that were present. Unbelievers would be told the opposite thing, that they had ears, but that they could not hear. Mark 8 verse 18. Mark 7 verses 17 to 23, KJV, And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. And he saith unto them, Are ye so without understanding also? Do ye not perceive, that whatsoever thing from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him, because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly, and goeth out into the draught, purging all meats? And he said that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within, and defile the man. Lasciviousness, lustful. The borders of Tyre and Sidon Matthew 15 colon 21-28 Mark 7 verses 24 to 26 KJV And from thence he arose, and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon, and entered into an house, and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. For a certain woman, whose young daughter had an unclean spirit, heard of him, and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. Tyre and Sidon, Matthew 11 verse 21 KJV, Woe unto thee, Chorazin! Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works, which were done in you, had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation, the Greek woman was a Gentile. Phoenicia was a Roman province in Syria. Mark 7 verse 27, KJV, But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread, and to cast it unto the dogs. Let the children first be filled, Jesus was saying to her let the Jews, the children, get the word of God first. The children's bread, God's word is often called bread in the scriptures. It was not right to give the gospel of the kingdom to the Gentiles, and then to give it to the Jews afterwards who were promised it in the first place. Cast it unto the dogs, Jesus was not saying the Gentile was no better than a dog. He was just speaking of the order that had to be followed. You would not feed the dogs first and then give your children the rest. The Jews had to be reached first with the gospel of the kingdom, and then when they had been won to the Lord, they were to take the good news of the kingdom out to the Gentiles. Mark 7 verses 28 to 30, KJV, And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, For this saying go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. Yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs, when she said the right thing concerning her acceptance of God's plan of Jesus going to heal the Jew first, then Jesus could heal her daughter because of her acknowledgement of what God was doing concerning the nation of Israel. She could have her child healed because she had humbled herself and recognized God's plan for the Jews to get the word first, and they would take it to the Gentiles. Leviticus 23 verse 22 KJV And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not make clean riddance of the corners of thy field when thou reapest, neither shalt thou gather any gleaning of thy harvest, thou shalt leave them unto the poor, and to the stranger, I am the Lord your God. Jesus heals a deaf and dumb man Matthew 15 colon 29-31 Mark 7 verse 31 KJV And again, departing from the coasts of Tyre and Sidon, he came unto the Sea of Galilee, through the midst of the coasts of Decapolis. The coasts of Decapolis, they were located next to the southern tip of the Sea of Galilee next to the mouth of the Jordan River, near the parts of Dalmanutha. Mark 7 verses 32 to 33, KJV, And they bring unto him one that was deaf and had an impediment in his speech, and they beseech him to put his hand upon him. 
And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers into his ears, and he spit and touched his tongue. And he spit, twice Jesus uses spit to heal someone. This time it is a deaf and dumb man, the next time he spits in the eyes of a man that was born blind and heals him. Mark 7 verses 34 to 35, KJV, And looking up to heaven, he sighed, and saith unto him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And straightway his ears were opened, and the string of his tongue was loosed, and he spake plain. He sighed, probably because this man's literal healing was symbolic of what Jesus wanted for all of Israel which they would have in their kingdom. He wanted them to be able to hear the gospel of the kingdom and be saved, and to preach that message to others, but they could not as a nation because the message often fell on spiritually deaf ears. Mark 7 verses 36 to 37, KJV, And he charged them that they should tell no man, but the more he charged them, so much the more a great deal they published it, and were beyond measure astonished, saying, He hath done all things well, he mocketh both the deaf to hear, and the dumb to speak. By healing them. Leviticus 21 verses 16 to 23 KJV. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he be of thy seed in their generations that hath any blemish, let him not approach to offer the bread of his God. For whatsoever man he be that hath a blemish, he shall not approach, a blind man, or a lame, or he that hath a flat nose, or anything superfluous, or a man that is broken-footed, or broken-handed, or crook-backed, or a dwarf, or that hath a blemish in his eye, or be scurvy, or scabbed, or hath his stones broken. No man that hath a blemish of the seed of Aaron the priest shall come nigh to offer the offerings of the Lord made by fire. He hath a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer the bread of his God. He shall eat the bread of his God, both of the most holy, and of the holy. Only he shall not go in unto the veil, nor come nigh unto the altar, because he hath a blemish, that he profane not my sanctuaries, for I the Lord do sanctify them. Chapter 8 Jesus feeds 4,000 Matthew 15 colon 32-39 Mark 8 verses 1-9 to KJV In those days the multitude being very great, and having nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples unto him, and saith unto them, I have compassion on the multitude, because they have now been with me three days, and have nothing to eat, and if I send them away fasting to their own houses, they will faint by the way. Four divers of them came from far. And his disciples answered him, From whence can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? And he asked them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves, and gave thanks, and break, and gave to his disciples to set before them, and they did set them before the people. And they had a few small fishes, and he blessed and commanded to set them also before them. So, they did eat, and were filled, and they took up of the broken meat that was left seven baskets. And they that had eaten were about four thousand, and he sent them away. Seven baskets, seven is the number of completion or perfection in the Bible. Seven days make one week, and then it starts all over again. This time Jesus feeds less people with more to start with than when he fed the 5,000. This is just conjecture here, but it could be symbolic, meaning that there will be less believers alive to take care of at the end of the tribulation period. That does not matter to Jesus, however, as he can feed them all the way until the end of the seventh year of the tribulation period. The Pharisees seek a sign Matthew 16, 1-4, Mark 8 verses 10-12, to KJV, and straightway he entered into a ship with his disciples and came into the parts of Dalmanutha. And the Pharisees came forth, and began to question with him, seeking of him a sign from heaven, tempting him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit, and saith, Why doth this generation seek after a sign? Verily I say unto you, There shall no sign be given unto this generation. The parts of Dalmanutha, these parts were located on the south end of the Sea of Galilee. When Jesus departs to go to Bethsaida, they have to go north to go to the opposite side. No major towns were there. 
There shall no sign be given to this generation. Matthew 16 verse 4 records the one exception, which was the sign of the prophet Jonas. Jesus warns disciples about leaven Matthew 16 colon 5 dash 12. Mark 8 verses 13 to 14, KJV, and he left them and entering into the ship again departed to the other side. Now the disciples had forgotten to take bread, neither had they in the ship with them more than one loaf. One loaf, where were the remains of the seven baskets of bread they had from just feeding the four thousand? They forgot them, and they forgot the miracles, because miracles were now commonplace for them. Mark 8 verses 15 to 18, KJV, And he charged them, saying, Take heed, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, and of the leaven of Herod. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have no bread. And when Jesus knew it, he saith unto them, Why reason ye, because ye have no bread? Perceive ye not yet, neither understand? Have ye your heart yet hardened? Having eyes, see ye not? And having ears, hear ye not? And do ye not remember? The leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod, the Herodians partnered with the Pharisees to come up with tricky ways to try to get Jesus to speak against Rome to have him put to death. Their leaven was their false doctrines. Leaven is viewed as a type of sin throughout the scriptures. Mark 8 verses 19 to 21, KJV, When I break the five loaves among five thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took ye up? They say unto him, Twelve. And when the seven among four thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took ye up? And they said, Seven. And he said unto them, How is it that ye do not understand? Jesus could have fed them all with the one loaf, but notice how quickly they had gotten their mind off the miracle they had just seen. A miracle that they had seen twice by this time. Jesus wanted them to listen to his doctrine, not theirs. He wanted them to get all that they could ever need from him and not rely on the nation to take care of them, nor its corrupt religious leaders. Jesus didn't need anything from the apostles to do his miracles, he did however want them to listen to him and not the Pharisees. Their words were sinful. What does the number 12 represent in scripture? Israel. Israel could completely get everything they needed in the Messiah alone. Jesus spits on a blind man's eyes. Mark 8 verses 22 to 26, KJV, And he cometh to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town, and when he had spit on his eyes, and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up, and said, I see men as trees, walking. After that he put his hands again upon his eyes, and made him look up, and he was restored, and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. Jesus spits on this man's thighs, and puts his hands on him, and he was not healed completely, because Jesus wanted to teach them something. Israel had eyes to see, but they did not see the truth right in front of them that Jesus was the Messiah. The blind man represented the nation of Israel, and he had a divine appointment with the great physician on that day. He, like Israel, is going to be healed completely the second time when they meet Jesus at his return as he sets up his kingdom, much like the story of Joseph and his eleven brothers. Acts 7 verse 13 KJV And at the second time Joseph was made known to his brethren, and Joseph's kindred was made known unto Pharaoh. The same thing happened to Moses with the children, they did not recognize him as their deliverer the first time, because they did not have eyes to see. There was only a remnant in Israel of Jews who believed Jesus was the Christ the first time he came, and the rest were blinded. Romans 11 verses 7 and 25 KJV What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Just before Jesus comes back the second time many Jews will believe on him.
Romans 11 verse 26 And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, There shall come out of Shaun the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Psalm 14 verse 7 KJV Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Whom do men say that I am? Matthew 16 colon 13 dash 20 Mark 8 verses 27 to 30 KJV And Jesus went out, and his disciples, into the towns of Caesarea Philippi, and by the way he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say, Elias, and others, one of the prophets. And he saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Peter answereth and saith unto him, Thou art the Christ. And he charged them that they should tell no man of him, Thou art the Christ. Peter here confesses that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Christ means the Anointed One. In order to gain access into their kingdom, the generation that was alive while Jesus ministered had to have the same testimony as Peter did. John 8 verse 24 I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. We today in order to gain access to heaven, need to believe our gospel given to us today by the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4. Jesus foretells of his crucifixion Matthew 16 colon 21 dash 23 and Luke 9 colon 18 20. Mark 8 verses 31 to 33, KJV, And he began to teach them, that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders, and of the chief priests, and scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he spake that saying openly. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. And he began to teach them, if Jesus began to teach them about his death and resurrection at this time, then he wasn't teaching it before. Take up his cross, and follow in me Matthew 16 colon 24 dash 28 and Luke 9 colon 23 27. Mark 8 verses 34 to 38, KJV, And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Take up his cross and follow me. Peter's thinking that Christ would live forever did not line up with what scriptures said must happen to Christ, and so Christ rebuked Peter's inaccurate understanding of what must occur. Peter's thinking was selfish, and therefore from Satan. Peter began after Christ had risen from the dead to finally, and wholeheartedly, savor the things of God, as he had his way of thinking corrected by God himself.